Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Before we start, please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. An urgent review of King Charles security has taken place ahead of the royal family's public appearance on Christmas Day, following recent protests. The Windsor family will greet well-wishers on December 25 as they walk back from a morning service at St. Mary Magdalene Church on their Sandringham estate. However, royal protection chiefs are concerned that the king may face protesters after being targeted twice by egg-hurling activists. The team responsible for the monarch's safety are said to have met at least twice and ordered an immediate review of his security, the Mirror reported. Ahead of the king's annual royal festive stroll at Sandringham, a source told the Mirror's Russell Myers, this isn't just about individuals with eggs, everyone is extremely aware it could be far worse. A full-scale review is in place to make sure the right evacuation procedures are in place. The police's Royal and VIP Executive Committee, responsible for security, reportedly met up to re-evaluate plans to evacuate the King and Camilla if they are targeted again in public, while palace officials are understood to have held emergency talks. The King and Queen Consort will be greeting festive well-wishers on Christmas Day at Sandringham, Norfolk but police and protection officers will be on high alert for any issues. Charles was recently the target of egg-chucking activists during visits to York and Luton. 23-year-old Patrick Thurwell was arrested for throwing an egg at the King and Camilla during a visit to York in early November, during which they unveiled a statue of the late Queen. He later claimed to have been banned from carrying eggs in public or going within 500 meters of the monarch and will appear in York Magistrates Court on January 20, having been charged with a public order offense. In a later, unrelated event, an egg was allegedly thrown at the king during a walkabout in Luton. Bedfordshire police arrested a 28-year-old man, who they charged with a public order offense. Buckingham Palace officials also said to have held emergency talks after an increase in the number of disturbances during public outings. Former Met Police Chief Superintendent and head of the Royal Protection Unit Di Davies said, We must defend the right to peaceful protest, but all officers and their superiors must have a razor-sharp focus in the wake of this increase in disturbance. There is no magic solution to this pattern of attacks or protests, but intelligence and exit strategies are the most important factor. The egg incidents show the vulnerability of the royals. The key is to make sure these incidents do not spiral. As the IRA famously said after the Grand Hotel bombing, we only have to get lucky once, you have to be lucky all the time. On September 17, a protester confronted the king over the cost of the monarchy during a visit to Cardiff. He shouted, Charles, while we struggle to heat our homes, we have to pay for your parade. The taxpayer pays PS 100 million for you, and for what? Meanwhile, Last Christmas Day saw a man allegedly break into Windsor Castle armed with a crossbow. Jaswint Singh Chail, 20 of Southampton, is due to stand trial under the Treason Act next year, accused of intending to harm the late Queen over the reported incident. This month, a student was charged with threatening behavior after the eggs were thrown at the king during a walkabout in York and revealed he intends to ask the monarch to give evidence in his defense. The Crown Prosecution Service, CPS, said it had authorized North Yorkshire Police to charge Patrick Thelwell following the incident on November 9. The 23-year-old will appear at York Magistrates Court on January 20 next year, charged with threatening behavior contrary to Section 4 of the Public Order Act 1986. So what do you think about this news, guys? Please, share your personal opinion with us in the comments section below. Thank you.